Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be showing you another video tutorial on how you could enable the 5 GHz Wi-Fi on your PLDD Home Fiber Router. So if you're just new on this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, I'll be using the AN5506-04-FA router by PLDD Home Fiber. So go ahead and open up a web browser and then open up a command prompt by going to the start menu and look for command prompt. Right click the command prompt app and make sure to run it as administrator. Type in here IP config. Hit the enter button and look for the default gateway right here. You might be able to see here by default 192.168.1.1. So go ahead and copy that one or type that one on the address bar on your browser. So by default, you might be having this 192.168.1.1 IP address or default gateway. But since I have changed this one, I'm going to change this one to dot three. Hit the enter button and you might be able to see here this your connection is in private. Just simply hit the advanced button right here. You'll be able to see here the continue to 192.168.1.3. And again, if you are not able to come to this page, some routers need to have this HTTPS in front of the IP address. So go ahead and type in here the HTTPS uh, colon and double forward slash and type in here the IP address of your router and see if that would load up the login page. But if you are on this page right now, what you have to just simply do is type in here admin as the, the username and for the password, the default password for this particular model is 1234. But um, on different models, you might have different default password for the admin. So you could check that one at the back of your router. There's a sticker at the back of the router. Typically, the default password is placed at the back of the router. So if you're logging in for the first time, you might be getting this kind of window afterwards that will ask you to change the password of your router. So uh, basically, the 1234 password is not secure. So it might ask you to change that one. So go ahead and just go to this page or this guide that I have posted on my website. I'll just put this link in case you experience that kind of problem. You could go ahead and follow along on that uh, guide. But since I have changed this one already, I'm just going to type in here my password and then click the login button. So uh, I'm going as slow as I can so that everyone could follow up on the steps, especially those who are particularly new on configuring their router. So once you're ready on this page, you could simply just go to the network tab. And if your router supports the um, 5 GHz Wi-Fi, you will be able to see here different options with regards to 5 GHz. What you have to simply just do first is go to the 5G basic under the radio. You'll be able to see here a button make sure that the radio is on you simply click that one if the radio is turned off and then it will enable 5 gigahertz wi-fi on your router and hit the apply button afterwards go ahead and go to the 5g advanced tab and here you can enable up to four uh, 5 gigahertz wi-fi networks or ssids so you could just simply navigate through here so ssid one refers to the first 5 gigahertz wi-fi and uh, we're just going to set this one for the first time. So by default, it will be set to disabled and just change that radio button right here and make sure that it is enabled. For the SSID name, you could go ahead and uh, name it whatever you want and make sure that it is not hidden. Otherwise, you will not be able to see that on your devices. For the security policy, by default, it will be open. What you have to do is just simply set it one to this um, security mode and it will allow you to input your password on that particular SSID. So go ahead and select the TKIP AES um, WPA algorithms and type on the passphrase, your desired password. 
So it will require you the minimum of 12 to 64 characters. And uh, I would suggest you have special symbols, characters, and numbers to have a secure Wi-Fi password. Once done, just simply hit the apply button. And once done, you can now go ahead and connect to that particular network. So if you want to add more networks or, or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi on your um, PLDT Home Fiber, you could just simply go ahead and select the other SSIDs. And uh, it will show you here the options right here, a, another options. And you could again enable this one and change the SSID name and the security mode and the algorithm and input your passphrase. So that's basically how simple it is. So um, if you have any questions, you could go ahead and go to the website and uh, paste or start your forum right here. You can create a thread that I I can look upon here. I am I've created here the internet service provider forum so that um, it would be easier for us to have a conversation. And also to those people who might be asking the same questions, they will be able to see the particular solution. So um, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And also like this video for more helpful tips. Till then, see you again in my next videos.